Hey there everyone, welcome back. And I got, of course, another deck here that I'm trying out. I've got Quacky Marus, which I, I'm sure that's not the way you say it. I'm sure there's some pun here. Um, you know, Duel Links, uh, well, it's really Konami generally like to, you know, mess around with their names like Fur Hires, ha ha ha. And, uh, but, so basically the deck is Quacky Marus, uh, is an archetype that revolves around Pretty high, high attack power, high level, awesome effect card, monster cards that you know basically destroy themselves on the field if you don't do certain things. Uh, so at the end of the turn, each of these cards will destroy themselves if you don't either reveal a card or discard a certain card. So for instance, basically this card here, Iron Core of Quacky Meru, literally the only purpose of this card is to be discarded to pay the cost for these cards. And that's it. During your draw phase, if this card is in your graveyard. You can add this card to your hand instead of drawing, and or send one Quacky Marrow monster from your from your hand to graveyard to add this card to your hand. But literally, you cannot activate this card on the field. It does nothing on the field. It's crazy, um, but it's the it's the cost. It's at least one of the costs for each of these monsters, you know. So it's really important. That's why there's three of it. Um, the core transport unit, once per turn you can discard one card to add one iron core of Quacky Marrow uh, from your deck to your hand. That's, you know, searching this out. So, basically five of these cards you have a, a pretty good chance of opening with at least one of these in your hand, which is good. Of course you got some of those staple cards in here. Hatred and Age is for OTK power, because this deck's got some OTK power. There's a lot of special summons and normal summons you can do. Enemy controller, because I just think it's really good. And, uh, and of course, the other spell card is the Melody of Awakening Dragon. This is uh, Seto Kaiba's level 45 oh, reward, I'm pretty sure. I think it's Seto Kaiba. It's either Seto or Moko. I think it's Seto Kaiba, though. Discard one card, add up to two dragon type monsters with 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Now, that applies to Blue Eyes uh, White Dragon, but also applies to Kowaki, Kowaki Miru Maximus, which. It cannot be normal summon, just said. It can only be special summoned by remove, removing from play one Iron Core, this card. Uh, and then during each of your end phases, you destroy this card unless you send one Iron Core uh, or one Quacky Mirror Monster from your hand to the graveyard. So that's pretty good in terms of getting this thing on the field. It's super easy. Um, so it's kind of a, a detrimental cost to actually remove this bad boy from play but if you're going for OTKs it doesn't really matter um, and then of course the, the big effect that it gets once per turn during your main phase you can select and destroy one card your opponent controls that's super good that's like the probably the best spot removal in the game it, it's super easy to get of course the only downside is paying the cost at the end so at the end of the turn it doesn't destroy itself but you know if you're going for hey trinade of course uh, and they have nothing on the field to stop you you can just blow something up, special summon this, blow something up. You can normal summon Quacky Mero Urnite, you can normal summon Crusader, you can normal summon uh, Ice, and you have 4,000, you win. It's really, it's crazy. Um, speaking of which, Quacky Mero Ice, same thing during each of your end phases, destroy this card unless you send one Iron Core of Quacky Mero, or you reveal one continuous spell card in your hand. So, you've got two core transport units, you keep one on the field, you keep one in your hand, pay the cost for this and that way you're not discarding cards because you know that's the, the big problem with quackies i think is just sometimes you're put in a position where you're you're minusing every turn and that's not great but some of these effects allow you to actually plus so you want to get those obviously and of course its effect you can send one card from your hand to graveyard to destroy one special summon monster on the field now that's you know decent it's a pretty good effect actually and uh if you're using the iron core of quacky marrow you can, you can discard that for this effect, um, and then you can uh, get it back the next turn if you really need it. So again, really only want to do that if you're like going for big damage, making big plays. Uh, and of course, Crusader, Beast Warrior, that's which is important. During each of your end phases, destroy this card, same as the other ones. Uh, unless you send one Iron Core, or you reveal one Beast Warrior type monster in your hand. So if this, is, if this destroys an opponent's monster or battle, you add another uh, Quacky Mirror card from your graveyard to your hand. And that's not that's not Quacky Mirror monster, that's Quacky Mirror card. So any of these monsters or these cards. Although I guess this doesn't count. 
but this one counts, and all these monsters count. So that's really good. That's getting stuff back. Um, you know, that's if you so if you so you're paying the cost, but if you're destroying a monster in battle, it's not a cost because you're getting it back. You go plus one or minus one plus one. Of course, the other beast warrior here, Quacky Mirror or Knight, same kind of deal. You know, destroy itself at the end of the phase unless you iron uh, uh, d discard an iron core. Uh, or reveal a Beast War type monster. So the same as Crusader. Uh, and then once per turn, you, you can reveal one Iron Core in your hand. Special Summon one level 4 or lower. Quacky Mirror monster from your deck. Except for Urnite, which of course is Crusader. So in one turn, you can get out Quacky Mirror Maximus, dra the dragon. You can, uh, you can play... Melody Awakening to get you know get get a plus. Summon the dragon, pop whatever thing they have on the field. You can s normal summon Quacky Mero, reveal Iron Core, special summon Crusader. Now you have a full field. And if you have Hey Trunade, it's over pretty much. So that's what we're gonna try and mess around with. I'm using Grit as the ability because uh, there are turns, there are there are some times where I actually wanted to just pass the first turn because I didn't. I need another card to really do anything. And you don't really want to open up and just like, oh, leave everything on the field, and now I have to discard a card to keep my stuff on the field, so that, and then my opponent can just come in and blow things up. So that's what we're gonna rock out with. Platinum rank one. I think it's fun. I don't, I don't know how you would like rate this against other archetypes, but it seems like a good time, and I'm excited to play it. Um, and it finally gives me an excuse to use the Melody of Awakening Dragon, which is uh, a card that I had no idea how to use for. I was just going to use it in a Blue Eyes deck that I was built working on Last Gamble uh, uh, Blue Eyes, which is interesting. But I don't. I, still, I, I mentioned before, still don't have the uh, the, the three Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. Uh, I am in a predicament where I, all my characters are level forty-five, and I. I, I, I kind of feel like I'm wasting standard duels. It's not usually bad, because I actually don't mind not having to like auto-duel stuff, but when you have dual thons going on like there are right now, it's kind of super annoying to just duel for nothing, essentially. All right, I actually... I wish I had an iron core, but I don't. So guess what? I'm gonna pass. That's why we have grit. I have grit so that we can pass, and our opponent cannot OTK us. You can, you can furry summon all the crap you want, and it does not matter. And we have, we have hate grenade for this, so that's really nice. End your turn? Okay, give me, give me Iron Core. That's not super good. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. You special summon by removing from play one Iron Core from your hand. Yeah, so I kind of need that, unfortunately. But I can still pass. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass. I really want that Iron Core. It's like I ran five cards in the deck with which to get the Iron Core. And of course, it's the one card I don't get. Summon whatever monster you want. Okay, for higher. So, okay, cool. Running Light. What? Uh, light, life Point Boost Alpha. Interesting. That's cute. Okay, so we do have small issue here. The whiz is kind of annoying, isn't it? So that's a problem, right? Yeah, I can't summon you. Could summon you. I wish I had an iron core. Literally, if I had an iron core, we'd be good. So I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, my opponent did not negate it. Okay. I'm almost summoned. Alright, fine. Now, send one card from my hand to graveyard. So we can destroy the Wiz. I don't need the other dragon. I'm not gonna be able to summon it. Destroy that. Yeah, oh, yeah, you had nothing in your hand. Okay, well, in that case, uh, I mean, that's all your cards, right? Like, there was no, there's not even a delay for the actual effect. So you, you only have 
the one monster. Yeah. Again, you know, you know, here's the downside is I don't have an iron core and I didn't have the continuous spell card in my hand, so Koaki gets destroyed. But I had to clear the field, so. You see, this, this card relies so heavily on the iron core. You see, you have, a, you have another one here? Why didn't you activate your Wiz effect? You ha you can discard this for Wiz. What the Wiz, Biz? Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. I mean, do you have the other... Are you going to use the other one? Do you have the other one? What, what's your deal, bro? I'm confused. Did my... Oh, I think my computer just froze. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, and we crashed. Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's resume that duel. Okay. Can't wait for you to tell me that I lost. Tip, what's a fusion monster? Oh, there's a Jinzo on the field. Okay, so we lost anyway. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Yeah, okay, well, that's why. You had a Jinzo. Right, so, yeah, so we need Iron Core there, obviously. But, again. It seems like, oh, it's the deck, the deck, gimmick deck, it's not a good deck. I promise you, this deck, I, I have beaten for hires. I've beaten all kinds of decks before. That just was a very bad opening hand. Is that bound to happen? Yes. When you, when you have three of those dragons, it does sometimes happen. You know, preferably, it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. The Melody of Awakening Dragon is really nice if you open that. That's just, and, and, and no dragons, it's so nice. All right, let's get back in. We're gonna, we're gonna win this one. We're not gonna lose this one. As, as, as plentiful as the hairs on my face, so shall be if our wins. Probably not. Oh, that's probably so that terrible posture. Oh wow, Platinum Rank Force, you're climbing. Mr. King of Games over here. Alright, I swear, I've said this for the past, I don't know how many seasons. When I actually sit down and play enough games to get King Games this season. After I do all this, all these fun decks, we'll get back to the, the real shenanigans. Okay, this is alright. If I could actually open with the uh, Melody of Awakening Dragon, if I, could, if I could draw a Melody of Awakening Dragon, this would be pretty nice. I mean, two enemy controllers is okay, I don't need two really. I prefer Hatronade, and I, you know, it's... For hires, yay. Love this. I'm here to have fun. Oh, great whiz, great whiz play. You're, you're so clever. Alright, but I do, I can, I can check for that. I can. Okay, that's alright. Alright, in what order do I need to do this? Card. I have one card. Okay. I'm going to. I gotta bait it out. We're in platinum, so this this would normally probably never work anywhere else. But I'm gonna do it. You can Okay. You do have something in your hand. You can activate it. Okay. All right. Um. That. You. Okay. Uh huh. Surprise! You just let me do that. You don't let this happen. Please let it happen. <laughs> God, why is Wiz a card? Why is Wiz a card? That's a problem. I feel like this this card's probably not a real problem in the in the actual like TCG. It's probably just oh, okay. All right. Well, you're a jerk. There goes the other Wiz. You know, I might have actually wanted to just let that happen, naturally. But I have grit here. I'm actually thinking about it. I have something I can do here. All right, what are you summoning? That's the question. Which is annoying, because you can get, yeah, that back. You could actually just normal summon the other one. 
You're not gonna do that. Yeah, you're not gonna do that. Alright, let it happen. Just gotta let it happen. That's why we have grit. Let it happen. Bring it on! That's 27. Here's the last one. Thank you. All right. Can we finish it off? Really want to show. Okay, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I really want you to burn this. I really want you to burn this. Like so bad. Do it. Wow, why are you so, you're just, you're the worst. You won't let me do anything. Turn that back on. I am not gonna activate, because I know you're just, it's what, negate and destroy, right? No, negate the activation, it's not, it's not destroy. So I, I'm gonna force this. Probably should have kept the, um, You're a bad boy then. Alright, that's fine. Because I'm going to kill the Donpa. Yeah! Look at that! Get out of here. Of course, I have to send one of these bad boys. Wish I could... I, it, yo, I will say though, if this, if, if, the, if the dragon didn't banish the Iron Core, this deck would be broken. Absolutely, absolutely broken. Okay, well now we lose, so it doesn't matter now. Because we're not here to have fun. That's right, yeah, I'm just gonna, oh, oh, what's, what's, what's this? Oh, what's that? Bam! How did that happen? Oh, crazy. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Oh, man. So I guess, in that case, if you have the Iron Core, it was, it was tough because we didn't have the Iron Core, we had the, the continuous spell to actually get it. If you have the Iron Core, you just summon the dragon and you force him to do something about it. Because it, it, I always forget, for some reason I always think that Sage, Whisper Sage, destroys when it negates. It doesn't destroy, it just negates, that's all. So like, it, it doesn't like, oh, negate monster effect and destroy, it just negates. But it's a free once per turn, so I had to discard a card to do it. I said to get the dragon on the field. So, in that case, we just blow him up. Alright, Odeon. Oh, I wonder what your plan is. Is it, it rhyme with Shmamazon? Shmamazon is a uh, Shmrincess? Okay. If I could get... If I could get Urnite, that'd be great. If I could get Urnite, that'd be so good. Because I could, theoretically... Theoretically... Get Urnite and and Maximus on the field. Okay, so it's nothing but traps. We got traps for days. Hmm. Huh. If I had another one of if I had another one of these, that'd be great. Okay, so I'm worried about I'm not as worried about like Canadia. I'm a little bit worried about Floodgate. Floodgate would actually be pretty terrible. I'm gonna activate this. Let's see if there's anything to do. Any response? No response. Okay. We're gonna send enemy controller. I don't because I don't think it's gonna be that good in this. And I'm gonna special summon the Maximus. Now I really wish that I didn't have to banish this, but such is the nature of the card. All right. So this response there, but is it a floodgate? Be anything but a floodgate. I love, I love that card. I, I love people who are playing Canadio. What's the deal, bro? Well, at least, I, at least I don't have to discard a card for it. I can't, I mean, I could summon this. There's no point. Oh, whoops, I accidentally clicked on the summon. <laughs> whoops. Whoopsie daisy. It's not what I wanted. Not at all what I wanted. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to pay the, the cost for it. And we burn the trap. 
and there's no... You can't end this trap hell, because you only have two traps in the, in, the, in the graveyard. You can't treacherous, so that's good. I guess the question is... Amazon? Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so this top left one is probably an Amazon blipper flipper. Let's see what you are. Alright, that's fine. I could have econ that, but I don't feel like it's worth it. Alright, here we go. I need another card. Need to get another card. I'm not I can't put this on the field. I need to be able to pay for this. Now if I can get another core, that'd be great. Any any other old card just to discard to get the core will be fine too. Alright. That's gonna be. I don't really want to take a thousand. Yeah, I don't really want to take that. I know. I know there's an onslaught face down, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let it happen. It's not. Because you already know you can attack into me, and I'll take a thousand. I don't want that. Here we go. Okay. 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 Okay, normal summon. Do not floodgate me. That would be super annoying. Just let me have my fun. Stop stop trying so hard! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, I hate everyone. Hey, bring out your Kaleo. Cool. cool, you're so cool. Alright, fine. Whatever. Go ahead and banish all my cards. Why not? It's so freaking cool. Oh god, Amazon is so annoying. So annoying. And, uh, oh, uh, it looks like my Deluxe is gonna crash again. Please don't. <sighs> banish me, baby. Banish me. Love it. Oh, you didn't. You didn't activate? What? So you didn't activate Amazon's Onslaught? Did you just draw your first one? Is that what that was? I guess you did. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to blow some stuff up. Here's your queen. Cool. You're taking damage. So I took some damage. You took some damage. I like that. Bye-bye. You better activate your thing right now. You better activate it right now. Uh-huh. Back to the hand. Guess what? You go Boomtown. Get rid of that. That's for damn sure. And uh, I want to add activate effect here. Get another monster on the field. From our deck, I'm going to add this. Here we go. There better not be a Karibo on that hand. I, sw I swear. I swear on on everything. Wait. Can I not change their? Oh, I can't change their battle position because uh, they were floodgated. That's why. That's right. That's right. That's right. But. That's right. I thought I could attack, but I'm dumb. So go ahead and destroy the uh, yeah, the Amazonas Queen. I'm gonna lose all my monsters in one turn. So excited! Floodgate, great card. Goodbye. Woo! Fun. <laughs> That's all right. It's fun. I don't know. Onslaught. This is fun. And the fun gates are back in the deck. I love it. I love it. 
Okay. And there's, what, the other two onslaughts? Yeah, so there's just no way. The problem with, with Quackies, you gotta have them card advantage. The floodgates kinda, kinda poop on you. So, so that was the effect to get the car, get the iron core back. Yeah, is he gonna give me that? Oh no! Never mind. I thought I thought it was instead of a draw. I read that wrong. Oh, and or. Okay, so I screwed that up. That's fine. What, what are you What are you even gonna do? No, nope, I, 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 no, sorry, no, sorry, no, no, sorry, no, no, sorry, no, 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 sorry, no. All right, so we didn't win a single duel there, and that's kind of annoying. But truly, I think this has potential. I do. And you can call me stupid, but hey, you know what? I tried it, so feel free to try it. Feel free to hate me in the comments. I don't really care. I did it. Anyways, that's it for Duel Links. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, feel free to like on the video down below. If you're not already su subscribed, make sure you do so you don't miss future videos. I hope to see you back next time. Another episode of Duel Links where we will actually win a game uh, when uh, 